Now, on the safety end of it, obviously, we're doing a lot of redeployment of, of um, uh, safety and security staff uh, in buildings where we'll be going maybe from 800 students to maybe 1,000 or 1,100, uh, as we are in one of our high schools. Uh, remember, we made some efficiency de decisions to close some schools that were low in enrollment, uh, redirect those students to other schools where there was space. So we're, we, while we're maximizing our capacity in terms of space, we're also increasing student enrollment in those schools by two, 300 students in some situations. So in uh, some of those cases, we'll have additional security staff full-time at the building. What folks should know, Deb, is we made a conscious decision when we closed the 14 buildings. We did not lay off any security staff. So we'll have additional staff from all those buildings that can be redeployed to other buildings in the district just to assure parents uh, that uh, we are going to be safe in the building. Now, the other thing we've done this year that we've done in previous years, what we probably have heightened the urgency, is really around the collaboration of safety and security forces from throughout the city. The, the reality is it takes neighbors and parents and interested citizens to make sure that kids are safe on the way to school, which may be two or three blocks from the school. Uh, and obviously we take full responsibility in the course of the school day. And then the key is, of course, after school and the walk back home. We have uh, walking routes that we've identified as safest walking routes for the kids. It may not always be the most direct route because it may be a, a route where there's uh, more population, uh, more lights, you know, those kind of things to make sure that people, there are more community people to observe uh, the comings and goings of students to and fro. But we're working very closely with the Cleveland Police Department, with uh, RTA safety, with CMHA safety, with uh, safety forces from Tri-C, uh, and a number of other agencies, including um, uh, the prosecutor's office and other security folks, just to make sure that we're putting bodies on the ground so people feel safe to and from school. That's always been a priority. Now, people should know and remember that our safety concerns are going down each year. So we've seen a decline in our serious measured incidents. But as we mix school, uh, kids together, uh, we're just trying to take the extra precaution.